The last thing that I wanted to show you is how did I rig the eyes of the girl. Uh, I have a little problem with the rigging that I that I made, uh, which is uh, I created uh, a bone for the eyeballs and and then two more bones for the eyelids. Uh, and uh, in the beginning, I let them uh, in exactly the same position. They were all overlapping. And this uh, created a problem because uh, I couldn't mirror well the weights from one side to the other. Uh, it, 3ds Max uh, got confused and uh, copied uh, randomly uh, the weights, for example, the weights of the upper lip in the weight in the bone of the eye, or uh, it switched the upper and the lower lid. Uh, but uh, that's normal because uh, they were exactly in the same position, and, and uh, they there were no way to uh, make the pairing right. So I thought. Well, I'm just animating the rotation in the z-axis, so uh, why not I just move this uh, bone uh, a little in the z-axis, giving giving them a, a little offset. As I was just animating the, the rotation in this axis, uh, it seemed right. But... Uh, I realized shortly after that uh, you may want to uh, make your cutter not only open and close the eyes, but also uh, when the eyeball uh, moves to one side, uh, move the eyelids along. Uh, so this is not a good solution. And uh, I will show you a different setup. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, I've erased uh, the other bones that I had for the eyes and I have created, created this new one and I will create two more for the eyelids. So click on the head and uh, add bone, add bone again. Okay, and now go back to the eyeball bone, uh, copy the setup with this button here and paste it over to one of the bones that I created. Uh, I'm going to scale it in the y-axis like 0 0.3 would be enough and scale it up in the z-axis yeah like that more or less and I'm copying the settings again and pasting them over to the other bone. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I will rotate this. And as you see, they, they this bone still share uh, the center. But they are uh, now a different size and they are offset they are offset in rotation. So uh, they are now, their envelopes are not longer sharing the, their positions and there should be no problems with uh, mirror weighting. Okay, this is, this looks good. I'm duplicating the control we last created. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm duplicating the control the control we last created uh, four times. We're going, we're going to have two controls for the eyeballs and two for the eyelids. That's it. And give a good name to everything. I missed giving uh, proper names to the other side of the eye bones. Cool. Now I need to parent uh, the eyeballs to the bones of the eyes. Alright, let's hide it. Hide 
light selection. Okay, and select link. Come over here. Okay, one side and the other. Cool. Now every time uh, the bone of the eye moves, the the eye will follow along. Now we need to have a look uh, into some of the settings of the bones uh, for the eyes and eyelids. Uh, because if we want to assign a controller that drives the rotation of every one of them uh, separately from the, the rest of the body, uh, we need to be able to set a controller there. And to do so, we are going to select uh, all of them and go over to the hierarchy tab, click in link info, and make sure that we have uh, two things active because by default, by default, they are not. Uh, you have to check this here, animation controller, and uh, also this this checkbox here, additive to set up pose. This first thing, animation controller, uh, clicking that uh, allows you to set custom controllers in the setup layers. Uh, and in this way, you will be able to change uh, your bone positions and transforms, rotations, everything, uh, no matter what layers you have in the animation stuff. It will sort of create a, a separate layer for the setup. And as you see, if you switch over to um, the motion tab, uh, and open the assigned controller palette. Uh, you have this this thing here that was uh, disabled before. Well, if if we go back and uh, switch again the setup mode to a static matrix, uh, you will see that now we can't access anything here. So go back and hit animation controller again so I select the eye bone and I'm going to set up here uh, a special controller uh, which is called rotation list rotation uh, I mean list controllers uh, are something very useful they kind of uh, do the same thing as the list uh, of cast, cat layers. You can uh, set up uh, multiple uh, transforms in an object and then blend uh, between ones and the others using uh, this list of ways on the right. So I think I will make a little example. Let's call this uh, this first rotation that I have applied, default, and I, I'm going to add uh, a couple more. Let's say add a new Euler XYZ controller below, and let's call this left, and let's add another, let's call it right. And right now they are not doing anything, anything useful. Um, this kind of uh, these rotations are being applied in order. So default holds the overall rotation of the bone, and and you can use this one to add or affect the ones that you've got below. For example. Um, we are going to select this one, select set active, 
and rotate the eye to the left. Okay. And as we change uh, the weight, we can see as, uh, how uh, Max is uh, interpolating with, between uh, between the first position we have stored in the in defaults and the rotation that we've gotten left. So it's sort of like adjustment layer, so it's, it's kind of similar. And these rotations here, they will all average. So let's set left again to zero, and now let's change right. Set active, okay, now rotate the bone to the other side. Well, I need to have weight 100. If not, I won't be able to see it. Uh, okay, right, right there. Now playing with the with the weights, you can see they. I can use them to rotate the eye. So it's like full left and full right will average and give me a rotation that is neutral more or less. And if I sub subtract way from right, yeah, I will look to the other side. So I'm keeping the default there to to be able to keep the original rotation of the eye. And I'm driving instead this new uh, rotation controller.